Hey guys, Derek here from Bomb Socks with a new day of Bomb Bites where we feast upon the words of Christ and we do it one bite at a time. So today, uh, Genesis chapter 50, uh, I wanna focus on the death of Jacob, okay? You've got Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, three icons, if I could call them that, the patriarchs, all the blessings of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Okay, Jacob passes away in this chapter. Uh, when you go to chapter 50, verse 15, it says, When Joseph's brethren saw that their father was dead, they said, Joseph will peradventure hate us and will certainly requite us all the evil which we did unto him. They're probably thinking, hey, he's just been nice to us because dad's still been around. Now that dad's gone, man, he is going to give it to us. Verse 16, they sent a messenger unto Joseph saying, thy father did command before he died saying, so shall you say unto Joseph, forgive, I pray thee now. So like, we want to make sure you understand that this is what dad said. Forgive, I pray thee now the trespass of thy brethren and their sin, for they did unto thee evil. Now we pray thee, forgive the trespass of the servants of the God of thy father. And Joseph wept when they spake unto him. Here's Joseph just like, oh my gosh, you guys don't get it. Um, so the big concern was Joseph's brothers. They had all of these fears that Joseph was now going to just, just unleash on them. And he's like, oh guys, you don't get this here. So verse 18, then his brethren also went and fell down before his face. And they said, behold, we be thy servants. And Joseph said unto them, Fear not, for am I in the place of God? Now that's a great statement. He's like, look, guys, am I in the place of God right here? I am not the one who is going to do all this. You guys have got to make peace with God. You and me, we're good. Joseph forgave them. Uh, one of the coolest verses you could cross-reference here with uh, verse 19 is Doctrine and Covenants section 64, verses 9 through 11, where it says, Wherefore I say unto you that ye ought to forgive one another. For he that forgiveth not his brother his trespasses standeth condemned before the Lord, for there remaineth in him the greater sin. One of the things I have always understood, at least for me this makes sense, the Lord has said very clearly, thou shalt have no other gods before me. That is the first of the Ten Commandments. So when we choose not to forgive someone, it almost puts us in a higher place than God. Um, that's why Joseph's just like, look, I'm not God here, guys. I am going to all forgive you. Let God do all these things. Let God judge, which it says in Doctrine and Covenants section 64. I, the Lord, will forgive whom I will forgive, but of you it is required to forgive all men. And you ought to say in your hearts, let God judge between me. And you ought to say in your hearts, let God judge between me and thee and reward thee according to thy deeds. That's where it's like, let God do all the heavy lifting in this process. You and I need to forgive one another. And Joseph's like, I have forgiven you. So I love verse number 20. This is a sign of true forgiveness from Joseph. But as for you, ye thought evil against me, but God meant it unto good to bring to pass as it is this day to save much people alive. Now, therefore, fear ye not, I will nourish you and your little ones. And he comforted them and he spake kindly unto them. And so I love that. They're just like, Joseph's not going to forgive us. Joseph's like, I have already forgiven you. So one of the things I love about this story is the love and forgiveness that can and should exist in a family. Oftentimes when we're dealing with forgiveness issues, it is often towards family. Uh, Dieter F. Uchtdorf shared this. I thought this was great. He said, I've discovered one thing that most happy families have in common. They have a way of forgiving and forgetting the imperfections of others and of looking for the good. Now that's not always as easy as it sounds, but of all the people to forgive, family should be the most important to forgive. Those in unhappy families, on the other hand, often find fault, hold grudges, and can't seem to let go of past offenses. It is through our Savior's sacrifice that we can gain exaltation and eternal life. As we accept his ways and overcome our pride by softening our hearts, we can bring reconciliation and forgiveness into our families and into our personal lives. God will help us to be more forgiving and to be more willing to walk the second mile, to be the first to apologize, even if something wasn't our fault, 
to lay aside old grudges and to nurture them no more. And so that's an important thing to understand right there. It's hard. It's not an easy thing to do, but it requires the swallowing of pride and the, the humility there, which I think Joseph, Joseph's a hero. I've said that many times. You go through here, there are many instances where Joseph could have just lost faith in God and, and not gotten closer to God. And he could have just hold, held grudges against his brothers and all of those things. And Joseph is such a good example of Jesus Christ. And I, I love that about him. Uh, in the Come Follow Me, it talks about how forgiveness brings healing. It says, reading about Joseph forgiving his brothers for the terrible things they did to him may prompt you to think about someone you are currently struggling to forgive. Or perhaps a difficult test of forgiveness is in your future. Either way, it might help to ponder why Joseph was able to forgive. What clues about Joseph's character and attitude do you find in Genesis 45, which we talked about earlier, and then Genesis 50, which we just read. How might his experiences have influenced him to be more forgiving? What does Joseph's example suggest about how you can become more forgiving with the Savior's help? Notice also the blessings that came to Joseph's family because of his forgiveness. What blessings have you seen from forgiveness? Do you feel inspired to reach out to someone who has wronged you? And it gives you some great things to read as well with that. And so I would suggest to you, if there's someone in your family that you're having a difficult time forgiving, look to the example of Joseph and look to see how God's hand may have been in this. And like I said at the very week, WWJT, where was Jesus today? Look for Jesus. And if you look for him in these stories, you will find him. And I, and I know that's true, especially when it comes to the aspect of forgiveness. It can be done. It must be done but it also needs to be done with the Savior's help. You can't do it by yourself. You've got to have the Savior. And I love the example of Joseph, how he was able to do that as well. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And thank you so much for sharing these messages. We love that you do that. Please go check out our amazingly comfortable gospel-themed socks if you haven't already at bombsocks.com. Godspeed. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.